Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be learning how to design this spring. This tutorial is a little bit more advanced but it will teach you how to use different tools in SOLIDWORKS such as creating 3D sketch, creating curve and using the sweep feature to create this part. So let's start a new part file and see how we can create this part. To create this part I'm going to click on new part and click OK. Then I'm going to come under Options. I'll select Document Properties, Units, change it to Millimeter. And while I'm here, I'm going to improve my image quality. Just going to drag it up there and click OK. Next, let's create a 3D sketch. So come under Sketch. So under the Sketch tab, select this drop down and select 3D Sketch. I'm going to select the Line 2. And I'm going to click on that origin point. And to change the plane of your 3D sketch, all you have to do is press the tab key. So once I press the tab key, watch my plane change. Right now I am in XY. And when I press the tab key, it has changed to YZ. And when I press it again, that's changed to ZX. So we want this plane to be on YZ. And we are just going to draw the line tracking it up. You see that tracker going up. You want to follow that tracker and click somewhere up here. And while we are still on YZ, we are going to track it to the left. Just like that and click. And when I'm done, I'm going to right click and click select to accept that. And the next thing we will do is select this line. Make it a construction line and select this line and also make it a construction line. Let's click the dimension and we'll add the dimension to this line. And this line is going to be 3.25 millimeter. And we'll also add the dimension to this line, which is going to be 3. Next, we are going to draw another line while we are still in the 3D sketch. Select the line too. And this time we want to change our plane to XY plane. So I'll press tab until I see the XY plane. I'm going to start my line on that point. And I'm just going to follow that tracker just like that and draw a line coming straight out and click somewhere there. And I'm still on the XY plane and I'm going to draw another line at an angle. Again, I'm following the tracker and I'll click somewhere down here and right click and select. So now we have this. Let's add some dimension and relation to it. First, hold down the control key and select the front plane. Then also select this angled line and add a parallel relation to it. Next, let's add some smart dimension to it. I'll click on the smart dimension. This dimension is going to be 10.5. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see and the dimension of this line is going to be 3.25 and the angle from this line to that line not that let me try that again this line to that line is going to be 45 and click OK Next, we are going to use the line tool again. While we are still in the 3D sketch, select the line tool. And now we will change our plane to YZ. So select the tab until you see the YZ. So I have my YZ. I'll click this point and I'll use the tracker to track it going down that way. And this time, while you are tracking it, I want you to press three and press enter. So the length of this line is going to be 3. So we are tracking it YZ and we'll press 3. Next, I want you to click away from that line. So you have something like this. I want you to click this point and no. So we're holding down the control key, select the front plane and also select this point and add a on plane relation to it. And once you've had the on plane relation, click OK. So we have everything we need now to define this sketch and feel free to move it around to see what it looks like. If I move it to like an isometric view, 
this is what it looks like. We have a line going up, coming out here at an angle and going in again. Now let's add some fillet to it. I'll click fillet. I'm still in the 3D sketch. And I'll change the dimension here to 2. Now add a 2 fillet to that point. And click OK. And I'll add another fillet. I'll change the dimension to 1.25. And I want to add it to this point. And click OK. And we are pretty much done with this sketch. Click OK again and exit your sketch. Next, we are going to create a plane here and draw our sketch there. So to do that, come to your feature tab. Under the reference geometry, select plane. Now I'll click on this arrow to see this drop down. My first reference plane is going to be my front plane. And I'm going to be parallel. So it's going to be a parallel relation. So select that parallel. For the second reference, it is going to be this point. And we have a fully defined plane. And I'll click OK. Next, I'll select that plane. Now start a new sketch. I'm going to go normal to. So you are normal to, you have something like this. Draw a circle on that origin point going up. Draw something like that. Then I'm just going to move it like this. And I'm going to select that circle. And holding down the control key, I'll select that point. Once I select the circle and that end point, I'm going to add a coincident relation. And I'll click OK. And click OK to exit the sketch. And there is the second sketch we need to make. So right now you should have something like this. I'm going to hide this plane because I don't need it anymore. So you should have something like this now. Next, we are going to turn this circle into an helix. So we'll come under insert, we'll come to the drop down to the curve, and we'll come in here and we'll select helix spiral. We'll select that circle. In this region perimeter, I want you to enter all these values you see on the screen. So I'm going to put the values on the screen. Just enter these values the same way you see them. And in case you want to enter the row 4, anytime you type a value in here, it will automatically create another row for you. So pause the video, enter the value you see on the screen here, and once you're done, then we can continue. And once you've added all the values to the table, you should have a preview like this. Make sure your values look the same as mine. And once you've entered all those values, click OK. We have our helix. It looks like this. Next, we are going to click on the front plane and start a new sketch on it. I'm going to go normal two. We want to draw a circle here like this. Then we'll draw a line at the quadrant of that circle. I'm going to trim this side out and I'm going to select that line and add a construction line to it. I'm going to add a dimension and the radius is going to be 2.25. And once my sketch is fully defined, I'm going to exit the sketch. Again, you should have something like this. So the sketch we just made is on that back line which is on the front plane. So it should be on your front plane and it should look like this. So far up to this point, you should have something like this. Next, we are going to select the right plane, which is this plane. You see that's the plane crossing through there. And we'll start a new sketch and we'll go number two. Right here, let's draw a circle, something like this. And let's draw a line that is coming at an angle. And we'll draw another line that is also coming at an angle. We are going to select this line, holding down the control key, select that circle, add a tangent relation. And we'll do the same thing with this and add a tangent relation. And I'm going to trim out all the excess. Um, so my line is not touching my circle. That's why I deleted everything. I'll press control Z to go back. 
Now make sure my line and my circles are touching. Just like that. Then when I trim it now, I should be able to trim out that and you should have something like this. Draw a line coming down here. Make this line a construction line. And let's select this line, your construction line and this line. And you want to add a symmetric relation. So I click symmetric right there. Then now I'm going to add a dimension here. The angle between these two lines is going to be 15. Next, select this point and this, let me zoom out so you can see. Select this point, holding down the control key, select your helix. It should give you this pierce relation, pierce it. So it looks like that. Then next, let's add some dimension from here to here to that point. So pretty much from the center point to that point that we just pierced. It is going to be 1.25. And the radius of this is going to be 1.75. And from this point to the end of that point is also going to be 1.75. You should have something like this. And I'm just going to click um, this point and click that point and I'm going to add the horizontal relation. So you should have something like this. Our sketch is fully defined. We are going to exit the sketch. Good. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to project this sketch on that sketch. And to do that, we'll come to um, insert, come to curves, and we'll click on project it. And it is going to be sketch on sketch. We'll select this sketch and we'll select this sketch. So it should give you something like this. And everything looks good and click OK. Once you click OK, we have this helix still looks like this. Oh, where did it go? So I just, anytime your stuff jumps away from the screen like that, to get it back, you can either double click on your middle row scroller wheel. If I double click on it, it will give me that. Or you can press the F key and it's going to bring it back. So now we need to turn all this sketch into one feature. In order for us to be able to sweep our feature through this, all this needs to be one feature. And to do that, we are going to use the composite curve. I believe it's called the composite curve. So I'll come to insert on that curve. It's called composite this. Select that. Then we are going to say, you see right here, it's saying entities to join. We want to join this sketch to this helix and to that little curve we just created. So you should have your 3D sketch, curve one and the helix all together and click OK. And now you see it has joined everything to this blue looking thing. So this is like your helix. And we are almost pretty much done here. Now all we need to do is create our profile over here. So that will be on our front plane. Let's select the front plane. We'll select sketch number two. And let's just draw. I'm going to move it this way because I want to see. It. So I'll move it like this. I'm going to draw my circle here, something like that. Then I'll click the center point of that circle and this helix thing, holding down the control key and I'm going to add the pierce relation to it. Let me try that again. So I'm going to click this point and click that and add a pierce relation to it. Good. So we should put that circle in the center of that. Then we can now add our dimension to it. So let me go number two, add the dimension, and this is going to be one. So once we click one, exit the sketch, then we have this. Next, we'll come to feature, sweep bus, 
For the profile, we are going to select our sketch. And for the part, we are going to select this. It's going to give you that preview. And everything looks good. Click OK. There you go. Then we can hide our composite curve because we don't need it anymore. And let me add a material to this. So I'm going to add a metal and I'll add this polished metal to it. Next, we just want to mirror this to the other side. So this body, we want to mirror it to the other side. So to do that, let's select mirror. While you are still in the feature, select mirror. And we'll select bodies to mirror this body. The mirror plane. Make sure you select this mirror plane and to know you are selecting it is going to be blue. Then we want to select the front plane and it is going to give you the preview and click OK. And that is how you create this spring. And this is a little bit dark. Let me change my material. Let me add this to it so you can see it. And that is how you create this spring. I believe it's a good exercise. It's a little bit advanced, but um, I hope you are able to follow it to the end. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.